Hey everybody, happy Labor Day. Welcome back to Take 5. As always, you can text us directly, weigh in on our topics. 206-448-4545. We're here for you, and we're live. And we're live, and this is the last day of the summer song. So we're going to have to change our theme song, right? We can't be playing Tomorrow. Right? We can't wear school. white. You don't have to can't... cry. It's okay. You're I'm so, I'm just going like, <laughs> it's been, it's like when you're off of Take 5 for a couple weeks as a, you know, the fill-in guest host, you forget about the energy and how it's just like playing ping pong like, every day. We're like the air hockey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, or like um, the fair, that thing where you bang right. that down. Right, the whack-a-mole. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Well, we have Al Samoro here with us because we wanted to get an update. J50, we read earlier in the show that mm -hmm. we spotted her, uh, right. or it. What a dramatic yeah. wording it was today. So for people who don't understand what's going on J50, break it down. Why is yeah. it so dramatic? Okay, so J50, Scarlett, she's like three and a half year old calf in the southern resident orca pod. And she's been really sick as many of her family members are dealing with lack of food and all kinds of other issues and are facing possible extinction. J50 really is just showing us how bad it can get because she's essentially like facing the potential of near death and so bad that scientists actually intervened last month to try to save her in a way they have never intervened in the wild before by injecting her with um, antibiotics and also trying to even feed her fish, which like has never happened for people just go to the wild and say, hey, we're going to try to feed you to save your life. Um, so we know that she's facing imminent death, and all of a sudden she disappears for a couple of days. And since these animals stay with their family groups, I mean, for their entire lives, if you see the family and you don't see the kid, you got to wonder what happened. And so they were basically about to call her officially dead. Last night I was getting phone calls saying, hey, there's going to be some sad news tomorrow. We're likely going to say that J50 has passed away. We haven't seen her. This this morning, uh, the Center for Whale Research says that hope is fading for her survival. Then NOAA sends out a release saying that she never came back from open water. She's not with her family. So we're thinking, okay, she's gone. And then all of a sudden, boom, one hour later, it's like, nope. What? We just saw her. So who <laughs> saw back. her? Who spotted her? Where was that video? Yeah, uh, the Center for Whale Research and Sound Watch. There are a couple groups that are out there that do whale watching. And so it's essentially the folks that are out there that oh. are studying the whales and also the whale watchers said, there she is. All of a sudden, she just mm. appeared with her mom. So where she's been the last couple of days, nobody really knows. But well, she's, she's a teenager. <laughs> she probably just needed to get away from that. Yeah. Probably text yeah. messaging. She's young. Someone. Yeah, she, she's probably playing video games. Mm. Um, but, you know, the reality is that J50 has really been one of the two whales over the last couple of months that has great ripped global attention mm -hmm. on the whales right here in the Salish Sea um, because these whales for decades have been facing possible extinction and, and the public hasn't known a huge amount about it and now because we had this one that's um, you know had this historic intervention and then uh, the other mother who you might remember was pushing her dead calf mm -hmm. around for 16 days she had this dead carcass of her calf mm -hmm. that she was putting that really mm -hmm. dramatic video so those two whales have really carried these populations of southern of southern resident killer whales into the public eye and now the hope is uh, how can we use that public awareness to to save these whales essentially how many whales are in that pod do you there's know there's 75 southern resident okay. killer whales altogether but the real number that matters is only about a dozen of them are reproducing so i mean you can have mm -hmm. 75 whales but if you don't have any of them having babies right. then um, the future is really tenuous so the fact that we found j50 she seems to be healthy does this put an end to our worry or no well she's She's she, she's not really healthy. She's still dealing with the fact that she's underweight and malnourished, and she may still be sick. Right. Um, but she's alive, so that's always better than being dead. Mm -hmm. And they're thinking that if they still see her, depending on how her condition changes, they may try to give her more antibiotics mm -hmm. and try to feed her again. So, um, you know, this could change the game for how we deal with endangered species. Before it was like you just kind of watch them right. and let them take their natural course. And now it looks like people are saying, we don't want to do that anymore. Good. We're going to have to take some drastic action, so we'll see. The governor's task Good. force is supposed to bring some recommendations in the next couple of months, and we'll see what they come up with. Perfect. Let's pull some text really quickly because we've got one that says, Really glad to see J50. How beautiful. Hope we can practice better stewardship. I think this yeah, is totally. totally. You were saying Helping. there, Allison. Mm -hmm. yeah. My story that's airing tonight at 530 uh, is with a man who has been teaching kids uh, about how they can take responsible actions and talk to their parents about um, <laughs> how, to, how to live better for the whales. And I, he really believes oh. that that's the way to go because, you know, the, it's getting tougher and tougher sometimes for the government to take drastic action on mm -hmm. anything because they make it sued by one group or sued by another right. group. And so he really believes that the, the beginning of all of this has got to be kids and then maybe they get our attention as adults. Cool. 
Yeah. That's very That's true. A the kids do make a difference. Yes, they they, all, they dictate how we buy yeah. things, what we yeah. watch on TV. So maybe the orcas too. Well, Jordan, and, we yeah. just had Jordan on <laughs> yeah. these. And this whale yeah. calf, she's also a kid, and she's changing our attention yeah. too. Right. So. Exactly. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you, much, Allison. Allison.